biography of great al-kanami manager shehu al-haj muhammad al-amin ibn muhammad al-kanami shehu al-haj muhammad ibn al-amin ibn muhammad al-kanami was an islamic scholar teacher religious and political leader who advised and eventually supply, supplanted the Shay power dynasty of the Kenyan Borno Empire. Born in 1776 in Muruzuk town in present day Libya to a Kanumbu father and an Arab mother. Near Muruzuk town in what is today Libya, El Kenemi rose to prominence as a member of a rural religious community in the western provinces of what was then much atrophied Borno Empire. The Fulani jihadist under Usman Amfodius Bana tried to conquer Borno in 1808. They partly succeeded. They banned the capital Gazargamu and defeated the main army of the May of Borno. The latter called Shehu Muhammad ibn al Amin al Kanami for help to repel his felony opponents. By planning, inspiration, and prayer, Muhammad al Amin al Kanami attracted the following set of people especially from sure arab networks and kanumbu communities extending far outside Borno's borders the main manager dinama rewarded the leader in person of muhammad ibn al-amin al kanami al with control over a Borno province on the western march taking only the title shehu and eschewing the traditional offices el kenemi gathered a powerful following becoming but the voice of borno in negotiations with sakata as well as a semi-independent ruler of a threat rich area with a powerful military Dunama was deposed by his uncle in 1809, but the support of Al Kenebri brought him back to power in 1813. Muhammad Al Kenebri waged his war against Sakata not only with weapons but also with letters, as he desired to thwart Amphodius Jihad with the same ideological weapon. Being a true scholar, he carried on a series of theological, legal, and political debates through letters with the Sultan of Sakato, Usman Amfodio, a letter with his son, Muhammad Bello. As the expansion of Sokoto was predicated upon a struggle against paganism, apostasy, and misrule, El Kenemi challenged the rule of his neighbors to strike at a state which had been Muslim for at least 800 years. When El Kenemi rose to power after the Fulani Jihad, he did not totally reorganize the Sefawa kingdom. He only tried to insert his men in the existing framework of the Sefawa territorial fits. The historian Cohen argued that the main political organization of 19th century Borno was based on personal relationship and that El Kenemi initiated a more formal patron client relationship. During that time, six men supported El Kenemi's rise to power in Borno. They included his childhood friend and colleagues, Al Haj Sudani. 
a Togo trader and family friend Al Haj Malia, his eldest brother Ilo from his wife's family who led the Kanambu Kuburi in Kanam Ashitima Kuburi and three Shua Arabs, Allah Muhammad Trab of Bagirimi, Malang Ibrahim Wadema of Wadei, and Malang Ahmed Konomi. It was in 1814, Elkenemi constructed the new city of Wukawa. This new city became the de facto capital of Borno, as Elkenemi took the title of Shiru. El Kenemi quickly amassed a large following within Borno and adopted the title of Shuhu with Bor within Borno society and quickly supplemented the rule of the maize who become figure head monarchs. About 1819 to 20, Moidunama rose up in revolt against El Kenemi and was subsequently killed in battle. El Kenemi then met Dunama's brother Ibrahim Mai. Then in the eighteen twenties El Kenemi drove the Flani out of Porno, challenging the Sakata Kalipat and occupying the Diadama true area. This was followed by the occupation of the Kotoko Kingdom, city states of Kusri, Gulfoy and Logan after defeating the in 1824. Sefawa Maize remained the Teokla manager after El Kenemi's death in 1837. In the year of 1846, the last May league with Kare Empire precipitated a civil war resulting in the death of May Ibrahim. May Ibrahim, who was installed by El Kenemi, following the dispute between El Kenemi and Dunamami, as he revolt towards the humanization of El Kenemi as Shehu. Resulting uh, the last May, it was at that point that Kenemi's son, Umar, who succeeded his father, following the latter state in 1837, became Shehu. It was ending one of the longest dynastic reigns in international history. According to Dizo Nen Denham, a Scottish naval officer who described El Kenemi in the following order Nature has bestowed on him all the qualifications for a great commander. An enterprising genius, sound judgment, futures engaging with a demiano gentle and conciliating, and so little of vanity was there mixed with his ambition that he refused the offer of being made sultan. 